Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television and Board Game. Today, I'm Brett, and my hands are two recent releases from Bandai and Games Workshop. It is the latest Bandai Space Marine figures. We have a Salamander Intercessor with Bolt Rifle, and then we've got an Imperial Fist Intercessor with Auto Bolt Rifle and Auxiliary Grenade Launcher. They're the two latest releases from this line of figures. Uh, we got this other one. We have the, the original one. They've already released a Space Marine figure. We got it right there. Uh, for those who watched that review, you know I was kind of unimpressed with the figure. We'll be honest. But you know what? I am a 40k fan and I am a sucker uh, for these sort of things. So we're going to go open these up uh, and go show them off. We're going to do one at a time, though. So I think we're going to start with... I'm thinking, I'm thinking we'll start with the Salamander, because the, the Imperial Fist, I think, has a little bit variation, a little bit more variation uh, than the um, Salamander figure. Um, for me, I'm kind of just expecting a really solid paint job on this, and, um, you know, the different weapon. Like, that seems to be the difference on these. Uh, we also have a White Scar that is coming out figure. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure exactly when that's going to be released, but... Of course it's ordered. Of course it's ordered. So we'll have a review of that when it eventually is released. But um, as I said, I'm a sucker for this. It is what it is. And I know people are going to sit there and be like, if you really dislike the figures, why are you ordering it? And you go, because I can get a cool squad of a bunch of them and do photos. Plus, I'm collecting the, the McFarlane figures, and I feel like I should kind of compare them. Does that make sense? All right, so let's take the sheet off. The buy, the packaging is really nice. I'm going to give them a lot of credit for that. So we immediately have the figure inside. The packaging is, is really, really, really solid. Um, the, the presentation is fantastic. So, um, you know, while I'm kind of iffy on the figure itself, the presentation is nice. Um, the box is really cool. So we get the front, you know, we got the back. You can actually see the various sides of the figure. Like, it's, it's a nice box. I'm not... Uh, not uh, denying on that. All right, let's see here. What do we have? Wow, we got we got more tape is what we got. So the issue with these figures really is if you're not hopping on them as they come out, like some of the other figures we cover, they're really difficult to get afterwards. The The Space Marine figure is going for two to three times what its initial release was. All right, and the first uh, layer we've got is, of course, the backpack in various hands. I think we necessarily need to show off the hands. But we'll definitely need to show off the backpack. Need to do the hands too. Oh, that's why. Really? More tape? Okay, this thing is like taped to ridiculous levels. These won't cost a hundred dollars, and they don't take them as much. All right, I'm gonna keep that here just in case. All right. I guess there's gonna be more tape for this one itself. Yes, there's more tape. So, immediately we've got the backpack. I kind of want to see the backpack goes on the same amp. Okay, so it's the exact same. So let's see, the backpack looked a little different to me, a little bit different, but I just wanted to make sure it wasn't. All right, so we got this three-pronged backpack. Put it on. 
So first things first is I have the same issues that I have with the, the Space Marine and the Ultramarine figure is that it's very plasticky. Um, it feels like a toy. And, you know, I want a little bit more heft for it. And the thing that's interesting is now that the uh, McFarlane figures are out, like, we have a comparison, you know, something to really compare it with. And the McFarlane figures feel are, are, you know, a fifth of the price, uh, yet feel way, way more, um, there's just more to it. There's more girth to it. I just feel like I'm getting more for my money, which is fascinating. Um, these, I mean, are nice plastic display figures, the McFarlane figures feel more like toys and, and are much, they're just, there's more to it. Um, as far as the design, like, it looks exactly like the Space Marine figure. There is no difference at all. Um, there's a little bit of paint variation, and that's about it. So, very plastic, very plastic model feel to it. Like, if these were models, that would be kind of awesome, like snap together models. That was actually what they should have done. Um, all right, movement. Let's, let's do our movement. Got the toe, foot side to side, up and down. The knee's got a lot of bend to it, but I would say generally, like, I'd call it a one, uh, one joint. We got the hip to the side. Sorry, got to do this in front of the camera. The arms, same issues I think I had with the, the Space Marine is that the shoulders probably pop off. The I've already popped off the elbow, which is why it was off the camera a little bit. We get movement with the wrist is pretty pretty heavy. Head to the side, up and down. Um, so yeah, like the movement's exactly the same. The figure looks exactly the same. The paint job is, is good. This is good uh, salamander green. There is some nice shading to it. We can see. I don't know how well it's going to come off on the on the video. There's like nice shading around. It's not just solid green. Let's go with that. There we go. I don't know how well that comes off, but it's just, it's not solid green. There's there's you can see the dark uh, shading around the edge of it. Um, that's pretty uh, transparent. You can really see it on the back. Uh, there's a lot of darkness there. Um, the chest has got a nice gold to it, and then the the flame is actually is really nice. The flame over here. Um, but again, like, it's, this is the issue that I have with the others. Like, the details are really nice of the figure. It's just, it doesn't, this does not feel like a $100 figure. It feels like a, um, you know, it feels like a $20 figure. Um, I, I don't, I don't see this being five times better than the, than the McFarland figure. Um, but, and speaking of which, we can actually compare the two because I have it right next. So this is the Bandai. This is the McFarlane figure. It is bigger. It looks like a bigger scale. Um, I'm keeping the, the feet pretty even. And the McFarlane figure is a little bit better, so a little bit bigger. So it is a fifth of the price, and I think better detailed and girthier. It just feels like more material to it, and it's bigger. So um, I'm going to keep on saying that the McFarlane figures are where it's at. Like, it's really freaking good. I will probably never get any love from Bandai because of this, but you know what? I'd rather be honest. Alright. One more. <laughs> Getting the weapon is actually pretty easier. This might be easier than McFarlane. The, the gun is really nice. I will I will give uh, credit where credit's due. Is their weapons are way nicer than the McFarlane uh, weapons that have come out. We get the... It's not just a single color monochrome. There's actually some color to it. We get the kind of the flames fill in, which is really cool. Um, there is color to the scope, which is nice. Uh, there's actually like a hole in the back for that scope. Of course, got a hole in the front for the for the barrel. Uh, so the the weapon itself is actually really solid. Plus, you get this cool uh, uh, strap to carry it, which is which is a nice detail. And the fact that you can move it a little bit is nice as well. Um, like the Space Marine, there is a knife as well on that one. Fairly easy to pop out hands. So we'll get the knife in here. I think this the Ultramarine also had a had a knife. Um, so it, it's it's a nice figure. Like I'm not totally crapping on the figure. I just don't think it's worth a hundred dollars. And comparatively, when you have the McFarlane line out, 
it definitely isn't worth $100. I think the McFarland line is so far superior. The only difference is you get the hands, which is the big thing, and um, in some ways the, the, the painting is a little bit better. Like the, the ceramide armor um, has a little bit more depth to it and shade. The details look really close. The, the Actually, the funniest is the depth on the details of the McFarlane one seem to be better in some ways, and this seems to be better in other ways. So, we, you know, we might have to do, like, a real good comparison between the two lines at some point. Um, so, you, you know, you get six hands out of this. You don't get any with the McFarlane. You get, just get the two the figure comes with, up, uh, comes with. So, I mean, overall, this is kind of a, it's a mixed thing. Like, I don't think it's worth the hundred bucks because of McFarlane. Um... But there's some there's some cool you know differences between the two, um, and they're really close to scale for each other, which I think is kind of cool. So you know you can get a couple of these and then get a bunch of the McFarlane ones to like flesh out your your forces. So um, you know we've of course got this. We've got the uh, the other one that we'll, we'll do a uh, the Imperial Fist, which we'll be doing a, an unboxing for as well. We've already done one for the Ultramarine. We got the War a right Scar. Will be on its way whenever it's released. Uh, so yeah, lots coming at you when it comes to the uh, Bandai figures. Um, so yeah, I, I think you, you get where I'm at with this. Uh, good luck you can find it. We'll, we'll do our best to get some links to it, but they're probably going to be jacked up in prices. Uh, we do bring news when these go up on sale, so you know, pay attention to our site at BoardGameToday.com or uh, yeah, BoardGameToday.com I think is really where we're covering this. Um, if you want game news, go to BoardGameToday.com. You can follow it on Facebook, uh, on Twitter, on YouTube, on Instagram. If you're interested in comics and toys, check us out at Graphic Policy. We're doing this dual video. That's at GraphicPolicy.com, and it's at uh, YouTube, Twitter, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, everywhere, all at Graphic Policy. Keep it nice and consistent. Uh, until next time, as always, keep rolling your dice, keep playing with your toys, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.